that manifesto comes in at a time when we are seeing a pattern from Ruto and his team. When we were fighting for the constitution to bring changes in Kenya, Ruto lagged behind and did not support the new constitution. He is now fighting for the presidency under the constitution that he opposed. He came late. When the candidates were required to choose their running mates, Ruto waited until Raila Molo Dinga chose a great Kenyan, Martha Karua, to be his deputy. Ruto came late. But when he came late, instead of looking for a good Kenyan with integrity, with foresight, with vision, he chose somebody with so many cases. Criminal cases in court. That shows you the kind of person Ruto is. Because if we want light and you bring darkness, it will not be a good leader. And you know the difference between Raila and Ruto is like the difference between day and light. And you want to be such specific. Raila is day and Ruto is darkness. I want to tell Ruto also that when it came to the question of manifesto, they said digital. They should have come with a manifesto before everybody. But he had to choose, he had to wait until Raila had promulgated his own manifesto for the year 2022 going forward. Ruto came later and he's come with a manifesto which is full of gener generalities without specifics full of promises that cannot fulfill.